these get hit right in this hook right here. Uh, this is all folded up like a tin can. I have a Honda CRV here. This is a fairly common hit. These get hit right in this hook right here and completely fold up the trunk floor. You're out there, pulled the whole rear body panel way in. Then you could see inside of here how this is all folded up like a tin can. So this is going to get a new trunk floor, which I have right here and then also a new rear body panel, which I have right here. Then it also gets these side plates, which have to be replaced in order to put the new trunk floor in. These are lapped on top of the trunk floor and the frame rails underneath there, so it's kind of sandwiched between the two. So those get replaced. Then it also gets this new brace, which is this piece right here. That's folded completely in half. First, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grab this and roughly pull out all the damage first, just in case anything else is shifted with that. If you don't do that, if anything else is shifted, it could be a problem whenever you start fitting the new parts up. So you always wanna pull the old damage out first. So that is about the best this is gonna pull out. It's all wanting to rip now, but it pulled out good enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting it apart. I'm gonna start and get the rear body panel cut off.
So this trunk floor has a sectioning procedure where I can cut it right about here and section the new one in. Luckily, Honda provides this procedure so you don't have to put the whole thing in, which goes way up past under the rear seat. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay out a tape line for my cut, and then I'll go ahead and get this cut made and get this floor out. So I went ahead on the new floor and I marked my cut line right there and it's gonna overlap this joint right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and make my cut on this. So I've been trying to, to sit this rear body panel in place and I can't get it to fit in place. What I think I'm gonna have to do, these little side extension pieces, I think I have to cut out in order to give it, allow it to kick down. And I'm pretty sure once those are out, I'll be able to fish this down into place. But I'm gonna have to sacrifice both of those in order to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut those out. There's no way this is going to go in otherwise Now, let's see if this will work. There it is. So that worked out perfect. Having those two little side pieces out was allowed this to be able to fish down and it dropped right into place. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take this back apart lift the floor back out, put my weld through primer down. I have to drill a few more holes in the floor for plug welds. Then I will go ahead and I will get this floor welded in. And then I will start fit, doing a final fitment on the rear body panel.